In this video, I'll show you how to connect your Android phone to your Canon Selfie CP1500 to print pictures wirelessly directly from your phone. If it's the first time that you're using your Canon printer, you'll get this screen automatically after choosing the language. If it's not your first time using the printer, you need to go into Wi-Fi settings. Then in this menu, go down until you see Wi-Fi and you need to enable it. Press OK go up and select enable this way the canon printer will have its wi-fi working then go up up and you should select connection settings selfie photo layout and click ok click ok another time and then you'll have the same screen next step is to take your android phone point with the camera app to the qr code and click on the screen when it will detect that it's a website then Tap on Google Play and finally on the Google Play Store, you're going to download the Canon Selfie app. Next step is to open the app and on the app, you'll have to select the first option. Obviously, it's the Canon CP1500 we're trying to connect to. So tap on it and then you'll have this screen. You need to press on the Canon printer OK and OK a second time until you have another QR code. Then press OK on your phone, again OK, and the camera will open. Simply point the camera to the QR code. Then once it's scanned the code, you'll have the screen. Simply press OK on your phone. Then it can take a few seconds to even a minute, so be patient. You'll have then the screen, press connect, and it will connect to your printer. OK, perfect. Press OK. And now that your phone is linked with the printer, we can print pictures. On the app, tap on select and print. Then here you can choose between different sizes. Here I have 4x6 paper, so I'll leave it like this. You can choose between glossy, semi-gloss, satin. And finally, you can choose between image optimized or not. I suggest that you leave it off. Now it's time to search for pictures. You can click on display web services. If you have pictures in Instagram or Google photo, this is very nice, but mine is on my phone. So I'll click up there and here I'll search for the picture. Mine is in this folder. I'll simply tap on it and press OK. Then on the next screen, simply press OK. And now we have the pictures over here with many ways to modify it. If you tap on it, you'll be able to change the crop, to rotate the picture, or to adjust the contrast and other settings. If you tap on border over here, the first option, you can choose to have a border. Here there is a white one, or you can go borderless. So the picture takes the full width and height of the paper. The second option is background. For this, you need to add borders to see a difference because then you can choose between white and black borders. Another option is to add a date on the picture itself. If you want to see it on the corner, then you can add an overcoat. It looks like a watermark. There is different motifs over here that you can choose and you can see it reflecting on the preview up there. Other options are stamps. Again, these are some images that you can move around, scale up and down, rotate. And you can also add a text in case you want to type something. Just go ahead. You can also change the color, the font and everything when you're done. When you're done editing your picture, press the print button. It will send the picture to the printer. Again, this takes just a few seconds. You're going to press connect. and then it will send a picture. All you have to do is to press OK on your screen and you can close your phone. We won't need it anymore. The printer will take the paper and print each color one by one. It may take a minute or so to print. Once the last coat of ink is applied, you can go ahead and take the picture when it's dropped in the tray. So here we have it. There are some um, borders on the side that we can detach. It's very easy. Just fold the paper 
and uh, it will come out by itself. I hope this video was useful. If you want to support my channel, please check the affiliate Amazon links in the description to get some ink for your Canon printer. And, you know, just leave a like and a comment down below. See you in the next one.